Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'd During the last dars that we had we discussed the hadith in Imam Maqtasi Rahimahullah Ta'ala his book Umdat Ahkam the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu anna rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal idha tawadha ahadakum fal yajal fi anfihi ma'in tumala yistantar wa man yistajmara fal yutir ila akhira hadith this is a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said if one of you makes wudu then he should put in his nose he should take uh, water into his nose and blow it out and then if he makes istijmar then he should do it on an odd number. In this hadith of the Prophet wasallam, after this, uh, going over the hadith and some of the ahkam that the ulama, the scholars, have uh, abstracted from this hadith, the question has arised, uh, is it permissible to make istijmar, which istijmar is when you're using rocks or stones in order to clean yourself, akramakum Allah. So is it permissible to make istijmar with dirt? The question rises, is it permissible to make istijmar with sand or dirt? And we'll look at what Imam al-Maqdasi, rahimahullah ta'ala, or uh, the author of Zad al-Mustaqna, uh, no, Imam al-Maqdasi, rahimahullah ta'ala, what he said in his nas, and then we'll just bring about some of the benefits that Imam uh, bin Uthaymeen, rahimahullah ta'ala, mentioned in explaining. So, in order to answer this, we need to look at, in order to gain extra benefit, to look at uh, istijmar. That istijmar has uh, some, some conditions. Qali Imam Maqdasi, rahimahullah ta'ala, sahib al-kitab, وَيَشْتَرِتْ لِلِسْتِجْمَارِ بِإِحْجَارٍ وَنَحْوِهَا أَنْ يَكُونْ طَاهِرٍ مُنْقِيًّا غَيْرَ عَظْمٍ وَرُوثٍ وَطَعَامٍ وَمُحْتَرَمٍ وَمُتَسِلٍ بِالْحَيْوَانِ بِحَيْوَانِ وَيَشْتَرِتُ ثَلَاثَ مَسْعَهَاتِ مَنْقِيَةٍ فَأَكْثَرْ وَلَوْ بِحَجَرٍ ذُو الشعب وَيُسُنُّ so Imam, the Imam said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said that it is a condition for istijmar, meaning using the stones, or nahwiha, that the conditions for using the istijmar, or what is similar to it, is using rocks. He said using rocks or what is similar. He said wa nahwiha. And Bin Uthaymeen, he explained, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he explained that Nahwiha here, he said Mithil, he gives us some examples. Uh, Al-Mudr, Al-Mudr, and he said it is like a clay, a dry clay. And Tarab, and he mentioned dirt. And he mentioned leaves and uh, things like a wood or khashab. So he mentioned these things to explain to us that those things which do the same, uh, perform the same purpose as the istijmar, which is to clean oneself uh, from the, the urine or defecation, akramakum Allah, then if it fulfills that purpose, then it's permissible to use. And... One of the conditions, in addition to that, so for us to know, aside from using sand, so that lets us know sand and earth is permissible to use, as long as it fits these other criterion. Let's go over these criterion really quickly. The first one is that it's tahir, that it has to be pure. So if someone urinated on a spot or you found that there's filth on the spot, obviously you cannot use that to clean yourself with because filth is not going to remove filth. So it has to be tahir. Whatever you use. If it's a napkin, it has to be a clean napkin. Muntia, you know, it has to be purified in that it can purify other things. Also, it has to be other than 
uh, al azam wa rov. Al azam meaning a bone. It cannot be bone because the Prophet wasallam mentioned in an authentic hadith that that is the food of the of our brothers from amongst the jinn. Is that they use that and the, and the rov. So it is not permissible to use. Uh, it is not permissible to use uh, bones or any animal parts or uh, animal droppings. For example, deer droppings, bear droppings, um, in any animal, which this is what is referred to as roth, which is like the, the defecation, if you will, of the animal. So it is not permissible to use horse uh, droppings or horse, uh, whatever you call it, defecation in order to purify oneself. So that is prohibited in the shara and it's mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ specifically. What the am and then the Prophet uh, then the the uh, alama he mentioned rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned also food. It's not permissible to use food. So if you find a bone, if you find a piece of chicken, you find whatever so, something that's edible, it is not permissible to make istinja to clean your private parts or istijmar with it. You cannot. Or anything that's muhtaram anything that is um, sacred. So it is not permissible, of course, to use pages of the Qur'an or anything that has uh, verses of the Qur'an or, the, uh, you know, reference, any holy references or anything like this. It is not permissible to use those things or anything that which is sacred. And also, وَمُتَّسِلْ uh, Also, those things which are connected or parts, body parts uh, of a uh, of animals. So it is not permissible to use those things for istijmar. Uh, also, uh, another condition, as the Imam mentioned, is that it must be three. Uh, you must use it three times to cleanse oneself. That you must make. That is one of the conditions. That the that it is witter. It's from the Sunnah to do witter, and we discussed this in the previous uh, dars. And also, the least amount of wiping or cleansing oneself with this item, whether it be the rock or stone or whether it be dirt or what have you, is that you use it three times. That's the least amount of times, and you should end on witter to follow the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. Also, and I've asked uh, more than one scholar, and this is what the Imam also mentions here. He says, "Will be hajarin dhul He said, "Even if it's one rock, it's permissible to use one stone if it has multiple sides to it, meaning that you use a Allah, you use it to clean off uh, urine with one side, you flip it." There's another clean side you use, and you flip it, and you use another clean side. So if there is multiple sides to the stone, or what have you, and you only have one, then it's permissible, as uh, the ulama, uh, as some of the ulama mentioned, rahimahumullah ta'ala jami'an. And another last thing I want to mention about this, and I just asked one of the mashayikh, about this particular issue and he verified for me that yes it is permissible to use sand or dirt but there's another condition basically you can use anything that's pure that fits in those those criterions that we just minute, mentioned those shuru that is purified that it's not of animal parts that is not uh, the animal dung that it is not uh, bones that it is not uh, impure and so forth and the last condition the Sheikh mentioned with using dirt and sand is that you can guarantee that you will not get that uh, najasa, you know, defecate uh, the feces and urine on one's hand. That you will not pollute, you know, pollute your hand with filth so that you're causing more filth than in the spread of filth. And even some of the ulama, as I went in to look to some of the books, of the fuqaha that they mentioned also that the it should be restricted meaning the the najasa should be restricted to the makan to the place of uh you know of from your ikramakumala your uh backside your anus or your uh 
your your private part that it should not have spread on your leg and stuff like this because then you can't use the the hedger or the rock to clean yourself or whatever but instead you need water so it's very important to know these things so as long as you can guarantee that you do not have your hand in the najasa that the sand and the dirt will uh, consume the defecation will, 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 will take it and you will be able to protect your hand from getting najasa all over it then you can use sand and um, sand and, and, and dirt and things like that, clean earth and of course we know the best, best is to go with the asa which is water. Water is the pure, most uh, pure thing and it is the best to make tahara with, to make istinja and uh, istinja with and if need be, and it's permissible, even if you have water, to use istijma. So you can use toilet paper, you can use rocks, even if you have water. Say you want to conserve water or whatever, but why would you leave that which is better for that which is less? So you'll get more reward, and it's more purifying to clean yourself with water, and it keeps you away from the ikhtilaf of the ulama, the differences of opinion with regarding the fuqaha on some of these masail. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.